Donald Trump is completely and utterly just exhausting. I mean, the amount of stupidity spewed from him, it's just so exhausting. I mean, every single day, he says something that is either factually incorrect or something so stupid, so beyond the pale, that you just can't help but be turned off by him and want to shut down and not even pay attention to what he's doing because the man is a moron. He's communicated to us time and again that he doesn't know anything about anything. His brain is obviously melting out of his ears. He's mentally deteriorating. His cognitive capacity is basically that of a child. I, I don't know what else to say about Donald Trump at this point. If you're still following him, if you still think that he is this, you know, strategic mastermind and you know he's not really stupid he's just saying all of this to distract you or he's playing four-dimensional chess i don't know what to tell you donald trump says and does stupid things because donald trump is a stupid person now the latest thing that he said according to jonathan swan and margaret Talev of axios President Trump has suggested multiple times to senior homeland security and national security officials that they explore using nuclear bombs to stop hurricanes from hitting the United States. According to sources who have heard the president's private remarks and been briefed on a National Security Council memorandum that recorded those comments. During one hurricane briefing at the White House, Trump said, I got it, I got it. Why don't we nuke them? According to one source, who was there. They start forming off the coast of Africa as they're moving across the Atlantic. We drop a bomb inside the eye of the hurricane and it disrupts it. Why can't we do that? The source added, paraphrasing the president's remarks. Trump also raised the idea in another conversation with a senior administration official. A 2017 NSC memo describes that second conversation in which Trump asked whether the administration should bomb hurricanes to stop them from hitting the homeland. A source briefed on the NSC memo said it does not contain the word nuclear. It just says the president talked about bombing hurricanes. The briefer was knocked back on his heels, the source in the room added. You could hear a gnat fart in that meeting. People were astonished after the meeting ended, we thought. What the F? What do we do with this? Yeah. How do you not just laugh at him if he seriously suggest this like if he's being facetious and he's saying why don't we just nuke the hurricanes? Ho ho. That's a totally different story but he's being serious here. He's literally suggesting that we nuke hurricanes to stop them. This is basically idiocracy. That movie was not supposed to be a documentary. It wasn't supposed to be a prediction. It was just supposed to be entertainment. But Donald Trump is that movie personified. When the president couldn't figure out why all of the crops across the country were dying because they started uh, using Gatorade to water the plants... That's Donald Trump in a nutshell. He is that movie Idiocracy personified. Because, I mean, how else do you explain this? He's literally, seriously saying, why don't we stop hurricanes by nuking them? I mean, how stupid do you have to be to think that that's a solution? Just on its face, it's so insane that any reasonable adult who has two functioning brain cells that are working would just laugh at that. But this is the president, the man with his finger on the nuclear button, who is literally saying, hey guys, what are we doing? Why haven't we nuked hurricanes yet? The shit, like, literally gives me a headache. Like, Trump is making me physically ill to deal with this stupidity. Why can't we nuke hurricanes? I mean, I, I honestly don't know what to say. I'm speechless. Now, to be fair, Trump is not the first person to promote this idiotic idea because a government scientist back in the Eisenhower administration had previously floated this idea. Hey, maybe we can nuke hurricanes and stop them that way. And ever since that was floated, the idea has kind of taken up a life of its own and idiots thought it was so brilliant that till this day, they can't let it go. And it's become such a prominent idea that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration literally had to address this on their fact page, explaining that there is no evidence suggesting that a nuclear bomb could alter a storm at all, but most importantly, the resulting radioactive fallout, obviously, that would spread pretty quickly, 
would make matters exponentially worse fast. And the fact that this has to be explained to people is embarrassing, but I mean, it honestly, like, I shouldn't be too shocked because we are living in an era where flat earthers, chemtrail conspiracy theorists, and anti-vaxxers are all, like, gaining popularity, gaining ground. So, I mean, this probably is the least crazy out of all those ideas, but nonetheless, it's still an idiotic and childish assumption to even think that bombing a hurricane would work at all and not cause more damage, even if it could get the hurricane to dissipate. I mean, what do you think would happen? Do you think that we'd be okay if the hurricane goes away, but then there's that nuclear fallout that poisons all of us? I mean, <laughs> the amount of stupidity to say that not once but twice, it honestly is, it's unfathomable. If Donald Trump can become president, you clearly can do whatever you want to do in life. It's possible. So, um... Well, actually, not if you don't have money. But nonetheless, I mean, still, being that stupid and becoming president is really, it's just, it's remarkable. Now, in response to this story, Donald Trump, of course, denied it because we're all making fun of him. And he tweeted, the story by Axios that President Trump wanted to blow up large hurricanes with nuclear weapons prior to reaching shore is ridiculous. I never said this, just more fake news. Now, one thing that's interesting to me about this is, he referred to himself in the third person, presumably so he can say this was a staffer that said it. But then he goes on to say in the next sentence, I never said this. So now he's just like going out of his way to more frequently refer to himself in the third person. I mean, who is not sick and tired of Donald Trump? Like, if you are a supporter of Donald Trump, how are you not just exhausted at this point trying to defend everything that he says, trying to chalk up his idiotic gaffes to him playing 4D and five-dimensional chess. I mean, how are you not sick of him already? Politically speaking, he fires up the base, but I mean, he's not delivering anything. He is leading us into potentially another recession due to his idiotic trade war with China because he doesn't know how to handle this situation like a grown-up. There's something wrong with you if you support him. You have to have something not working right in your brain to think that this man should remain president. The fact that he was elected in the first place is an embarrassment to all of us, but to still support him till this day when he is declining mentally rapidly, I don't, I don't know what to say to you. You just, you have to have something wrong with you. Like, and I know that that sounds condescending. It sounds smug, but the man is a moron. How do you not see it? If you can't see that he's a moron, then there's something wrong with you. That means that you must be intellectually dim as well if you don't see what everyone else sees. Girly Mike Fettuccini needs your support on Patreon. What a loser. Visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report. Sad. My views are much higher.